Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this blood hit. You see here, yeah, and also I'm going to show you how to create this bullet shot. Yeah, <coughs> so first off, you have to start After Effects, you choose new composition. Compo composition. And right, what you want? I'm just gonna name it tutorial. Yeah, twelve eighty by seven twenty oh. lock aspect ratio. <coughs> My frame rate is twenty five. Resolution full, and here you can choose how long you want. So thank you. Okay. First off, you have to import <coughs> some footage. And I have a foot, um, some footage here. You just drag it in. You resize it by <coughs> clicking in a corner and hold shift. So maybe like this. And then trim it. So I trim it to where I shoot. Because we don't need the other. Uh, this is some, uh, a movie. I did do it. Boom! <coughs> Yeah, so you can check it out. So, somewhere on the screen right now, it's an ocean. An ocean, yeah. So, bam! And then it dies. Yeah, too sad. You can do this in two ways. Either you can motion track it and set a tracker somewhere. And to the guy that gets shot, but I'm just going to position it. So first off, you see you need like a red wound. Uh, I have one here, kind of. It's called Blood Hit. It's from the Action Action Essentials pack. Video compiled to the site. Uh, from Andrew Kramer that have tutorials and product files and stuff and there I got my Axum Essential Essentials pack too. Yeah. Um so first off I imported this uh, blood hit and um <coughs> you drag it in here, uh, toggle switches and choose hard light or also can choose multiply but it's your decision and you yeah it's pretty good yeah and then I here make shot and I just going to choose time freeze frame and we're just going to scale it down to here where it's not shot, shot, shot. Yeah, now we're down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And uh, then you choose your blood hit, click P on the keyboard. And, and now you have to go forward and forward and change, change the position, position, position of the blood hit. So, first off, I want to have it right here, maybe. like that, like that. Then <coughs> you click on the stopwatch, go forward. Oops. Go forward a few frames. Drag this up. Go forward a few more. And you can do this very, very precise. But I'm just going to do this really quick, so it won't take so much time yeah like this so that's pretty pretty shitty no yeah see it's moving and everything yeah 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 <coughs> but you can do it better I trust you you can do it better and then you click T on this and then when it's here I don't I don't want it to see it anymore so I uh, click on the stopwatch on opacity and go forward two frames and click zero. Yeah, like this. Yeah. Oops. 
and now you have this hint. And also you have to add a fast blur on it. So you go into effects and, pre and, and presets and drag fast blur around or he shows you clip, blood hit, you go to effects, uh, blur and sharpen and then fast blur. And then this will pop up. So I choose 30. And also you need to tell switches enable motion blur and enable motion blur on your separate clip. So it will blur a little bit in the speed. Yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then I need some blood everywhere. Blood hair, blood hair, blood everywhere. So I drag. No, I drag this one on, and I also drag. This one. I think. So I take away the two first frames, set it here, and then I choose one of them. This one. Resize it, hold shift, put it here. And I'm also going to toggle the switches <laughs> and choose hard light. So it will blend. Yeah. And then you should start the other one. Precise it. Oops. Yeah. Precise it. Hold shift. Put it here. And also choose hard light. You can also choose multiply or normal or whatever you want yeah and obviously and then you can add sound effects and yeah, I'm just going to like this now you see this is pretty awesome yeah yeah and now I'm going to instead of have a, a muscle flash. I'm going to choose the powder, powder, powder hit. Um, I put it one frame before the blob here. I'm going to rotate it with W or over here. Choose rotation tool, rotate it to whatever you want. Click V, resize it, hold shift, put it in front of the cannon. Yeah, now you see it's pretty awesome. And after this, click here, you click T, choose uh, opacity, click on the stop part, and then here I want it to be zero. Past it, yeah. So it will fade away, yeah. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then one more thing you need is a poncho that would fly by. Fly by. So you have to click P and resize it. Hold shift and then you know after the gun here, like here. Uh, first, you choose the bolt shell, click P, click on the stopwatch, zooming, zooming, man, <laughs> like, like there. Oh, I'm going to. Like that. Then go forward. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe. I'm just going to try some different. Yeah, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because you want to see it. Yeah. I'm maybe going to. 
yeah, and then you go just four, one, two, three, four, then it will go down again. And then you also have to enable motion blur. Unable shell. <laughs> so now it will come up here. You can see it here, and then it will go down. Yeah, nice. Pretty awesome. see my epic face oops and then the last thing you want to make it like a film lookish um, film lookish um, what do you say uh, or something so you add a new solid and go to layer new solid or right click down here and then choose new solid uh, <coughs> name it bars make it black 12 8 by 720 okay put it over top everything choose this rectangle rectangle tool or if you don't have it you just hold this in or something yeah and <coughs> then you choose rectangle tool and um, you have to choose grid and guide options choose grid so oh yeah small weed and then you do like this, yeah, like this, yeah, and now you're done. No, just kidding. And uh, here you subtract, and you see, and then you can move your composition up or what you want, and uh, so it will look better. Better. No, you can do it. Not me. I don't want you. And then you unselect the grid. See? Pretty nice. <laughs> and now I'm just going to add a color correction and then I think we're done. Choose layer new adjustment layer or right click down here, new adjustment layer. And <laughs> put it under the bars or below the bars. And you uh, <laughs> type mode yo. And you have to buy an eye bullet or something like that if you want it, or else you can uh, search curves and play around with curves and every other color correction settings things. But I'm just going to uh, play around with Mojo. And um, I have another tutorial on the color correction. You can shake, shake it out up here in the right corner, yeah. And then you take the mojo and drag it to the adjustment layer. And then you can do whatever you want. You can make a pig in here. No. Um, not exactly what, what you want, yeah. And you can play around. Like this, yeah. That's pretty nice. So here's before and after. Pretty good, pretty nice me. And now I'm just going to pre-render this. And by the way, the adjustment layer. If you have a color correction on ad adjustment layer, everything below it will be be affected. Or if you get it. So, Pull the trigger here. Boom. Yeah, and then you can add sound effects and things. And you also, um, you see, he's, he's pretty. It's pretty slow, but that's because it's a it's a barbecue grill or here, and um, he's he's very careful with his nose. Yeah, yeah. But sure, to check out our movie and my old tutorial <laughs> in the notion up here in the right corner. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I say thank you guys for watching this uh, video. And be sure to leave a comment if you have any questions or something. And I know this was not the greatest, but you can do it so much better. I just showed you like the, like the, um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm from Sweden, so I come, yeah, what do you, how do you say? You can do it more precise, maybe, yeah. And you probably, probably, <coughs> just learning right now. 
in a couple of years you will make Transformers 5 maybe I've done uh, Transformers 3 <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, so uh, thank you for watching this and I hope I see you in my sub box